Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the admin management webinar. Today I'm going to be going through the admin tab within Mercury, specifically focused on users that will be managing the Mercury software for within their company. I'll begin by going through virtual branches, then moving on to setting up outgoing email servers, then setting up bulk SMS, and finally looking at how to extract your data from within Mercury. Setting up a virtual branch within Mercury is quite a simple process. Firstly, I'll explain a little bit about virtual branches. Now, virtual branches allow for the segregation of your database by restricting the users inside each virtual branch to see only the records they have created themselves or that have been created by other users within the virtual branch. This can be used to partition off your database for a number of scenarios such as state by state, office by office, or broker by broker. By placing a user within a virtual branch, you're essentially allowing them to have their own personal CRM, where only their data or selected data can be seen. Now, virtual branches do place a number of limitations on users within that virtual branch. Firstly, those users cannot see commissions. They can only see data that is within their virtual branch, and they have very limited access to the admin tab within their virtual branch. I'm going to begin by showing you how to set up a virtual branch. So the first thing we're going to do is click on the admin tab, and then we're going to go to partner details. Within here you can see we have a manage virtual branches tab. When I click on that, it will give me the option to create a new virtual branch or to move users into an existing virtual branch. And we're going to start by creating a new branch by clicking on this button. From here you can see it's created a new virtual branch called New Virtual Branch. And what we're going to do is highlight that and we're just going to change its name. I'm just going to call this one Tim's VB. Now after you've renamed your virtual branch, you just need to click the Save button. Now that's created a new virtual branch for us to place users in. From here we're going to click on Manage Virtual Branches again. And we're going to click on our virtual branch we've just created. Now here you can see there are no users within this virtual branch, and all available users are off to the side. To place a user within a virtual branch, you simply click on the user and drag them into the users in virtual branch box. Now you can see I've now moved Porky Pig into this virtual branch. And Porky Pig will no longer be able to see any data that is in the parent company or in any of the other virtual branches. I'm then going to click save. Now upon clicking save, we've now created our virtual branch and we've moved a user within that branch. So after creating that virtual branch and moving the user in, you will need to restart Mercury in order to see those changes. Once you've restarted Mercury, you'll notice there is a drop down box in the top right hand side of your Mercury. When we click that down, you can see you now have a box that says select virtual branch and you will notice that your virtual branch has appeared within that box. I'm just going to quickly show you what you can do within this virtual branch. From here I'm going to click on the CRM tab and then I'm just going to do a quick search of all the people within my CRM. From here I'm just going to select these five users and then I'm going to click on the button move to branch. Then I'm going to click selected and it's going to ask me which virtual branch I wish to move these users into. So from here I'm just going to click Tim's virtual branch and I'm going to click OK. It's going to tell me that that transfer has been complete and you'll notice they are no longer in this list. Now if you do this with opportunities or with people, if you do it with people it will move all of the people you've selected as well as all opportunities that they are directly related to 
And if you move an opportunity, it will move the related people from that opportunity also. Just helps to keep your loans and your people together. Now up here, I'm going to select virtual branch and I'm going to click Tim's virtual branch. Now when our user Porky Pig were to log in, he wouldn't get any of these options. He would only be able to automatically be moved into his virtual branch. So I'm going to click search and you can see those five users have appeared. So when Porky Pig logs in, he'll only see these five. You won't have access to any other users or opportunities within your database. Now as a management staff, you might wish to look at all of the users that are within your database and uh, all of the virtual branches at the same time. You can do that by simply clicking this drop down box and selecting all branches and then clicking search. And that will bring up all of the users that are in the main company and also in the virtual branches and you can tell them by the owner over this side. Now it's also important to note that any questionnaires or any document templates that are created within a virtual branch can only be seen and used from within that virtual branch. Now this gives the users in the virtual branch the freedom to create document templates without cluttering the templates of the other branches or of the parent company. The next thing we're going to look at is how to set up an outgoing email server within Mercury. Ordinarily, when you send an email from Mercury, it will go out from our servers. If you set up this outgoing email server, it means that individual emails that you send out will go from your server instead of from Mercury. So set this up, we click on the admin tab, then we click on partner details, and then click on set up outgoing email server. Now the benefit of this is it can reduce emails going to spam folders or to be rejected outright. So if you have an outgoing email server, we recommend that you set this up. Now you'll need to fill in three pieces of information. The first one is the SMTP server details. Now as shown here, an example of that may be mail.bigpond.com. You will then need to type in your username and your password. You can get this information from your email provider or internet service provider. The next thing you'll need to do is click active and then click validate now. The information that I've typed in here is incorrect, which is why I've received this error message. If you type in the correct information, it will simply say success. Now it's also important to note that any bulk emails will be sent out via the Mercury server and will not use these server details. Once you've set this up and it has been successful, you can quickly, simply click the save button. The next step is to set up bulk SMSs. Now it's possible to send both individual SMSs within Mercury and send SMSs to a large portion of your CRM. Now sending individual SMSs within Mercury is free, however there is a cost involved with sending bulk SMSs. Now in order to set this up, we need to go down to the set up bulk SMS section within Mercury. Now the first thing you need to do is click on the read more button. And that will open this page within the connective wiki which will give you all the instructions you need in order to set up a Clickatel account. And what you do there is you purchase credits and then you use those credits to send SMSs. After you've set up a Clickatel account, you simply click on the SMS credentials button and you enter in your client ID, APR ID, username and password. Now all of this information can be gathered from within Clickatel and then you just click save. And finally I'm going to show you how to extract data from within Mercury. All you need to do is click on the data button and then click the extract raw data button. And what that's going to do is it's going to download a spreadsheet of all of your data from within Mercury, your entire CRM. Now all of that data will be placed into a single document and that document will not be human readable. It will be raw data. 
Now what that means is it's data that you can give to a developer of another CRM and they will be able to import that data quite easily. The reason this is so important is that it links all of the opportunities and people records together as well as your tasks and notes which is ordinarily quite difficult for a CRM developer to put together. Okay, so that concludes today's webinar. Now remember, as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to click on the help button in the top right hand side of Mercury and submit a request to the help desk. And our help desk staff will be able to get back to you with any answers. Thank you.